Abusha for it's time, it's time, it's time for In His Presence. This is DJ KB Top Online Radio UK. This is our second program for the evening. I will listen to Gospel Impartation Hour from Brother Daniel Odru from the mountains of United States. Now it's time for In His Presence with Reverend Jacob Vanderpoy of the Wailing Intercessors Network. I believe you are well and you are ready for this program. Um, without wasting much time, because we don't want to take too much of your time, I will bring Reverend um, Van der Poy and we will start. But please, when you come, you join the program, please share. Share the link so your colleagues can also tune in and be part of this meeting is very very important right reverend van der Poy, welcome to in his presence how are you sir dj kb thank you for having me by the grace of god we are blessed we are amen, kept by amen, the lord i mean how is the family and the network doing Oh, he's great in his name, in the name of Yoshua Hamashiach. Reverend, take it, take it away. Let's hear what the Lord has for us um, this evening. Thank you, Top Online Radio. Thank you, DJ KB. Happy New Month to everyone. The fifth month of the year the month of grace. We are so grateful. And I want to welcome you, the viewer, the listener, as you tune in, like our DJ KB rightly said, share the link so that we will all swim in the word of God. Merciful Father, we are before your presence. Your word says in all things we should give you thanks. We are so grateful. We celebrate your goodness. We celebrate your kindness. We thank you for giving us yet another month. This being the fifth month of the year, we pray that all the goodness and the mercies in the month shall be our portion. Lord, I decrease that the Holy Spirit will increase and absolutely saturate me so that we will not speak the enticing words of man's wisdom, but the power of God will be demonstrated today. For as we have been sharing on the seven churches in Asia Manor, we are going to tackle the last one. May your grace and your favor and your anointing be poured upon all of us. In Jesus' mighty name, you are welcome to in his presence. I trust God you. God bless you for coming. It's a pleasure again. I don't take it lightly at all being on this program because the top online radio, they are doing a great and marvelous work. They talk of legal matters, matters concerning our everyday life, Christian matters. So we are all run program. So I will encourage you to partner with Top Online. This is the day that the Lord has made. So far, we've been talking about uh, churches that the revelation of God or the revelation from Jesus Christ came to join the apostles. We've spoken about six churches. I don't want to bore you. I won't go back. But we are on the seventh church. We've spoken about different kinds of things. The loveless church, the compromising church, the corrupt church, the dead church, and, and, and the faithful church. We've spoken about all these things. And tonight, we are going to speak about lukewarmness. Lukewarmness is neither you are cold 
or out. You are in between. You become indifferent. And you, you, you do your own thing. And that was the church in, in Ladesia. And we will read in order to get ourselves prepared and unveil what God has deposited in our spirit. We will read uh, Revelation chapter 3 from verse 14 to 22. Revelation 3, 14 to 22. That's uh, Revelation. Hallelujah. We bless God. We give God the praise. We can't hear you, DJ. Revelation chapter 3, 22. better now sorry yeah yeah okay i do apologize you can be heard now yeah. thank you thank All you right um yeah, i'll take it now um revelations chapter 3 revelation 3 and 14 mm -hmm. to 22 i read yes please and to the angel of the church of the laodiceans write these things says the amen the faithful and true witness the beginning of the creation of God. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Because you say I am rich, have become wealthy and have need of nothing, and do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire, that you may be rich, and white garments, that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed, and anoint your eyes with eye salve, that you may see, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man, if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him, and he with me. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my throne as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. 22. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Amen. Amen. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of God is saying to our individual lives today. I know thy words. The church at Ladesia, the church was a Christian community on the river of Lacos in the Roman province of Asia. And today it is called the Latakia, uh, Syria. But uh, 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 Jesus brought the revelation that they are neither cold nor hot. At least when something is cold, you know how to treat coldness. When something is hot, you know how to handle it. But they are they were lukewarm. Lukewarm means that they were unconcerned. They weren't they weren't enthusiastic. They were unconcerned. And the Bible says this other church was also 
a very wealthy church. And all that they could do is to concentrate on their uh, 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 worthiness and uh, forgo or ignore the things of God. Lukewarmness was making God sick about them. They lacked faith. They were wretched. They were miserable. They were and naked and they were blind. When somebody is blind, anything you say, because of his blindness, that's why at one uh, verse he said, you, I might, I, I, I would have loved you to put a high server. They were blind. You, at times you, you bring up a subject and you are trying to make sense to somebody. But if you are very attentive or smart, the moment you start a subject, the response or uh, the attitude of the person will tell you that the person is naive. And attitude. And child of God, if you say lukewarmness, oh, I don't care. What will be, will be. Oh, those who say the life of a man does not consist only in the abundance or the wealth you have. Do not be lukewarm. If you are lukewarm, God says, I will vomit you out. That means you, they were displeasing God. And check your attitude today. And let me check my attitude today. Because when you are lukewarm, you will not live to please God. But God, he went to a, a point and said, them, repent, repent, repent. The spirit of repentance causes you to be received by God. For all sin and fall short of the glory of God. But whenever we come to the realization that we have sinned and we cannot save ourselves and we repent and we give our life back to Jesus, he will receive you. So he says, so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spill thee out of my mouth because thou sayest, I am rich. Some people, oh, I am rich. I don't need anything. Those who go to church because they are poor, because they are in need. And such people, let something happen. They run to church. Oh, what do you have? And what's not given to you by God? And if it was given to you by you both. Jesus, the other day, he says in uh, uh, Luke 15 and the verse 12, the life of a man does not consist in the abundance of things he possesses. Don't let God spill you out or vomit you out. <coughs> Sorry. Amen. He says, because that says, I am rich, be careful of how you term yourself and increase with goose. Oh, some people, they have more than enough materially but seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto thee nobody is saying when you are rich it's not good when you are rich and you serve god and you are benevolent and you love people and you share with people god will bless you more it is good to be rich but the richness that will cause you to walk away from God is not a good riches. But when you are rich and you give your life to Jesus and you serve God purposefully and you love somebody and you, uh, and you are hoping to the things of God, that is the things that uh, 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 we are talking of. And he said, I have no need of anything. Oh, uh, do you know the story of the rich man? He said, I'm rich. Oh, I don't, I don't need anything anymore. And, and, and the word of the Lord came to him. 
Oh, you are a fool. Your life will be taken from you today. For the life we live is not our own. Let us reflect on the word of God. He says, you are wretched. You are miserable. You are poor. I will say poor in spirit. Weak in spirit. Spiritually, you are a, 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 a novice. You are a baby. You are a lightweight in the things of the spirit. The Lord counsels you to buy gold. Give your heart to God. <clears throat> Let your life be committed to God. Mm -hmm. And I want us to establish this with reading of scriptures. First of all, we will read 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. 2 <coughs> Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. All right. I'll read 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourselves as to whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Do you not know yourselves? that Jesus Christ is in you, unless indeed you are disqualified. Amen. 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 Self-examination. Tonight, it is not what the pastor preach. It is not what the church is saying. Examine yourself. You know what you love. You know your priorities in life. If you love God, you know. If your life is devoted to God, you know. And just take inventory tonight. Are you lukewarm? Are you dedicated to the things of God? Child of God, it's not all, <coughs> sorry, it's not all that say, Lord, Lord, that will enter into the kingdom of God. But it is the, the ones that does the will of God. Amen. Take inventory. Amen. Are you disqualified? It's not about somebody marking you. It's not about somebody pointing fingers at you. <laughs> I know my heart. You know your heart. No one deceives himself. So take inventory. Child of God, are you taking inventory? And Titus chapter 1 and the verse 16. I like supporting uh, uh, the preaching with the scriptures. Titus okay. chapter 1 and the verse 16. All right. I'll take that. Titus, one, ch Titus chapter 1 verse 16. And it reads... They profess to know God, but in works they deny Him, being abominable, disobedient, and disqualified for every good work. Amen. Amen. Are you disqualified? <laughs> Tonight, I will not tell you you are disqualified. I am not God to judge, but you profess that you know God. But in your works, you deny him. If uh, 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 there is a profound saying, what you do is what justifies you. It's not what you say. Oh, cause I am talk. <laughs> I can come and say sweet, sweet words like I'm preaching. Yeah. If I read it, I can come and preach it. But my works, what are your works? He said, they profess that they know God, but in words, they deny him. Being abominable and disobedient. May you not be abominable. Mm -hmm. May you not be disobedient. Amen. Child of God, God wants you, and God loves you as you are. But give your heart to God. What you profess, do it. It is the doing that proves that you love God. 
It is not the singing. It is not a quoting of scriptures. It is not a big money you give a church. All is a package. And we love you to do that. But we are interested in your soul. Amen. Don't let your soul go to uh, uh, waste. Abominable and disobedient. And unto every good work, they are reprobate. They are disqualified. Are you disqualified? I know God, he wants you to come back. Amen. Come unto him. He will receive you. All has passed. All the old things have done. If any man be in Christ, he becomes a new creature. Amen. And all the old things pass away. And everything becomes new. Tonight, everything about you is becoming new. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray for you. And I pray with you. That the hand of God will come upon you mightily. Amen. That the Lord will cause you to, 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 to be hot. To be hot. To be on fire. To be serious for God. And to be thoughtful in the things of God. Amen. I know thy words. You are neither cold nor hot. You are lukewarm. You, you claim to be rich. You say you have no need of God. Oh, it's only the poor that goes to church. And even when they come to church, some, not all, some rich, rich people, they look down upon ministers, they look down upon their congregation. That is not the spirit. God has blessed you to be a blessing unto humanity. Amen. To be a blessing unto your community. Amen. To be a blessing to the body of Christ. And tonight, I speak into your life. Amen. Do a U-turn. Turn back. Come to Jesus. He is waiting to receive you into his kingdom. And all things will work together for your good because you are called according to the purpose of God. Amen. Isaiah 29, verse, uh, verse uh, 13. Isaiah 29, verse 13. All right. Um, Isaiah 20, uh, 29, Nine, 13. verse 13. Read from the New King James Version again. Um, yes, sir. Right. Bear with me. Yeah, uh, 2913. Right. So I read This testimony is true. Therefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith. Is it? Isaiah 29, 13. 13. Yes, Isaiah 29 and verse 13. Therefore, okay. the Lord Maybe your said, best. Inasmuch as these people draw near with their mouths and honor me with their lips, but have removed their hearts far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the commandment of men. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Wherefore, the Lord says, as much as these people draw near with their mouth, and there's nothing wrong about it. If you love God, you should be vocal about it. Definitely, you have to testify about the love you have for God. And with your lips, you praise God, you honor God, you talk to somebody about love, about the love of God. You honor God through your lips. But if you remove your heart from God, it says their heart is far from God. Oh, have you seen somebody doing something which is or an uh, art is not in it. He does it haphazardly. He does it anyhow. 
But when you are committed to something, it's like your blood is in it. It's like you love it, you are committed, and you want to go the extra mile. Oh, I have made this statement. Why as my tree come? Because I am talk. Some people, they will talk. Oh, some people, they are good preachers of the Bible. They know from Revelation to, uh, 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 they know from Genesis to Revelation. And they are confrontational. They are argumentative. But their heart is not in it. It is about your heart. What is the condition of your heart? Your lips is speaking it. You can argue about it. It's good to, to compare ideas. But where is your heart? When your heart is not towards it, they teach or they are taught by the precepts of men, the traditions of men. Oh, my God, my God, tonight, I pray that as much as we can make noise, as much as we can praise God, let everything that has breath praise the name. Let's enter into the gates of God with thanksgiving. Amen. Let's come before his presence with singing. Amen. Let our heart be in what we are doing. Praise and worship leader. Child of God. Minister of the gospel. What you teach. Practice it. Amen. What you teach. Let it be an example to other people. If you examine your heart, you cannot teach what you are not doing. It's like a parent and a, a, a son or a daughter in a home. You tell your uh, children not to do this, but they see you doing it. You have no respect from them, even if they cannot point it out to you. And we are in the country. They will point it out to you. They will say, Daddy, the other day you say, this cannot be done in this house. Why are you doing it? <laughs> Why are you doing it? Right. If you have a mouth to praise God, thank God for your life. Amen. We like your praises. If you have lips to lift God up, God is demanding that your heart will be in what you are doing. Praise God, I pray for you. We pray for ourselves that the anointing of God will fall on us tonight. That the Lord will revive our spirit. That everything that has gone wayward, there, there will be a sevenfold restoration tonight. Amen. The Lord lift you from the merry clay. The Lord establish your feet upon the throne. We read another scripture. 1 Corinthians 13. 1 Corinthians 13. We read verse 2. 1 Corinthians 13. Verse 2. 1 Corinthians 13. And the second verse. I read... And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. Amen. You are nothing. You are nothing. You are eloquent. You are eloquent. You have faith. You can prophesy. God can use you. But you don't have love. You all don't have love. You are nothing. Oh, may God bring us not to nothing. God will not bring you. It is your attitude. God does not condemn. It is your conscience. If you are not doing the right thing. <laughs> I, 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 I remember years ago in Ghana. My my. Pastor, he will say, there are some people here, you are so audacious, you are so on fire for God, 
for but the things you do, we don't know. And whenever a pastor or a man of God or even a congregation member turn to you and say, oh, this brother is so anointed, you will be saying in your heart, you don't know the person you are talking to. <laughs> I'm the devil's incarnate. <laughs> it's true. People don't, don't, don't come out to say, but when they are in something, they know. But tonight, the God of deliverance, Amen. the God that saves, Amen. the God that drives away demons, Amen. the God that takes authority over behavioral attitudes that are not pleasing in his sight, the God is delivering somebody. Amen. The God is setting somebody free Amen. from every entanglement of the enemy. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Yeshua, a Messiah. Amen. You are a, a selling Amen. above reproach. Amen. You are being received into the kingdom of God. They were lukewarm. The church was rich. They forgot about God. Amen. They don't care about God. Amen. And some people, they blaspheme. Anything about God, they will say something negative something painful. Oh, you may think you are bringing the pastor down, but anyone who, who uh, blaspheme or say negative things about the spirit of God or about God is to be held accountable. Luke 6, 46. Luke 6, 46. The book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 46. Right. I'll read. Luke 6, Luke chapter 6, verse 46. Mm -hmm. But why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do the things which I say? Amen. Simple, simple. Saying, Lord, 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 Lord from full respect. We do it at our workplaces. You don't like the boss, but because he's the boss, <laughs> in order to keep your work, you say, oh, boss, boss, boss. When he turns from you, you say, oh, don't mind that uh, idiot. Sorry, my language. But you can't call Jesus, Jesus, and you don't do the things which he say. It's gross disobedient. And many people, they read the Bible and they pick the ones that they want to do. And some ones, they put up arguments. Oh, oh, this is in the Old Testament and it is past. And this is this and this is that. Why do you call me Lord, Lord? Jesus, in, in brevity, was saying, if you won't serve me, or if you won't take the principles of the Lord, of God, there is no need calling me Lord, Lord. For God knows your heart. And God is our judge. So if you call him Lord, 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 and you don't do what he wants you to do, there will come a time, and we will read that, Matthew 7, 21 to 23. He says, you will say, Lord, 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 and he will say, I don't know you. Do you want that to be your portion? I don't think you want it. Matthew 7, 21 to 23. Right. Matthew 7, 21 to 23. Yeah. Matthew 7, 21 to 23, please. All right. I'll read Matthew 7, 21 to 23. Amen. Not everyone who says to me, 
Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then he will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Amen. Amen. You who practice lawlessness or iniquity, you who walk in sin, you will say, oh, I was the a senior pastor. I was the hard bishop. And he will say, I don't know you. You will not enter the kingdom of God. Hmm. The, power, the fact that God used you to uh, uh, perform a miracle, the fact that by the time you are obedient and you are willing, God has used you to prophesy and signs and wonders has taken place. Doesn't mean it's automatic. And living for God should be a lifetime. Living for God is not uh, today you are cold, to, tomorrow you are odd. Today you are dedicated, and tomorrow you are no more dedicated. Oh, love one another. And finally, we will read 1 John chapter 2, 15 to 16. It's about love. 1 John, 1 John chapter 2, right. verses 15 to 16. First John, verses 15. First John mm -hmm. chapter 2, 15 and 16. 16. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Amen. Amen. Do not love the world. And that is a hard one. Mm -hmm. If you love the world, the love of God is not in you. That doesn't mean uh, don't, don't be antisocial. That doesn't mean be, not to be a participant in the things of the world. But they had some things is automatically not of God. Automatically, it will not bring glory to the Lord. If you love not the world, hmm. neither do, do not love the world, neither the things that are in the world. For material things and priority in material things will sway you from the love of God. Therefore, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto, unto thee. The love of the Father is not in you. I pray that the love of the Father will be in you. The love of the Father will be in me. For all that is in the world, the last of the flesh. Oh, some people, they love their flesh. They gratify their flesh. They mortify their flesh. Everything they cannot deny themselves of it. And uh, many of us, or almost all of us, may be found a victim somehow. The last of the flesh. The last of the eyes. God is not saying, don't, don't open your eyes. May, may your eyes of understanding be enlightened or flooded with the light of God Amen. so that the things that you see will not cause you to sin. Amen. The pride of life is not of God, but is of the world. Oh, I, I pray that we will come to the realization. Father, forgive us our sins. Amen. Father, cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. For the things of the world 
as we major on it, and as we forget the things of the Lord, we become victims and not victims. But tonight, we pray that we will become victims of the things of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. DJ KB, if you have any addition or any, any, any uh, 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 question, I know you will have any addition. If you do, let's uh, have it and we pray. Or as the Lord directs you. Thank you, sir. Um, I think the little question I have is um, when the word of God says, um, because you are lukewarm, I will vomit you out of my mouth. So um, my question is, is it always that there is nothing like a, a middle place when it comes to whether you are in right standing with God or not? Is there no middle place for people who are in the process of getting things right with God? Because it says, I want you either cold or hot. Because you are neither, that means you are somewhere in the middle, I'll, I'll vomit you out. So does it mean that um, there is no place for people who are in the process of gradually working out their salvation, who are not there yet? They've started a journey, but they are not there yet. They are somehow in the middle. So is they, are they not acceptable? Is there no middle place when it comes to salvation and being right with God? Reverend Minister. Partly you answered your question. <laughs> the fact is that God knows a bit. When you give your life to Jesus, there is a process. Okay. There is a process like a baby born today. The mother will not expect the baby to start in the fifth day. Okay. The mother will not expect the baby to start running in the house uh, at once. Yeah. But look at a baby who may be four years and he, even he can't sit down. You see, there is deformity. Yeah. So, just like God, God knows our heart. And when you come to Jesus, you need to mature. You need to grow. But when you are not growing and you are uh, double-minded, uh, today you say, oh, I love God. Tomorrow you say, oh, uh, Saturday you cry uh, and constitute Wow. It is, uh, there should be maturity. I know that God will give that instant or that, that gap. But you are in the Lord. You've been in the Lord for two years. And the same thing you are doing, you do it every time. And at times, when we are not careful, you do it and it becomes a time your conscience does not condemn you anymore. Amen. Thank you very much. You take the God factor out of it. So God has a time for us to mature. And when you remain in the middle all the time, when you come to God, I don't know how long, but God has a time for everybody. And you know our individual frame. Maybe I will take two years to mature. But God knows DJ KB can take six months or one year. So when you do it repeatedly, mm. that's where God will spill you out. God is a forgiving God, but he, he spills you out at, at a point. Okay, thank you very much, sir. I, 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 I will make it Yes, sense. sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. And now, as the Lord leads you, pray for our listeners, our viewers, our children, our families. Those in need of healing, deliverance, those seeking the fruit of the womb, those seeking for financial breakthroughs. As the Lord leads you, pray for us, Reverend. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, DJ KB. First of all, dear listener, dear viewer, you are blessed of the Lord tonight. 
the state of lukewarmness, God is encouraging you. Grow and mature in the things of God. May there be maturity in our lives. May we love God, not the things and the vanities of the world. For, for uh, 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 Solomon says, all is vanity upon vanity. But the whole duty of a man is to fear God and keep his commandment. Tonight, we pray that the Lord will touch you. Tonight, we pray that the Lord will anoint you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Amen. Tonight, the power of God will come upon all souls, especially any infirmity in the lives of people. Amen. You have a chronic disease. You are unwell. Things are not working right for you. The balm of Gilad, Amen. the healing virtues of God, and release it into your life. May God set you free tonight. Amen. May the hand of God liberate you from the harm's way. Amen. May the Lord restore you unto the joy of his salvation. Amen. We pray for children, infants, toddlers, youth, school-going age, our Amen. children, that they will not be on that path. That if any infirmity or any generational uh, utterances is chasing them, we plead the blood of Jesus. Amen. We sanctify all children. Amen. That the blood of Jesus will mark them. That the devil will flee from them. We pray that your finances shall be loosed by the power of God. Amen. We pray that you will love God more than the things of this world. Amen. Ah, the Lord wants you. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy lady, and I will give you rest. Amen. Learn of me, for my yoke is easy, and my body is light, and you will find rest for yourself. May the peace of God that passes all understanding envelop you and keep you and direct your steps in everything that you do. Amen. Tonight, I, I pray for you and I will live until you who have not made Jesus your Lord and personal Savior. There are some they don't believe. They are disobedient. They, they mock the things of God. But God he has given me a warrant. He said, I should bring you to his kingdom. Amen. I pray for you. Amen. And I give you one minute, one second, to purpose on this word. As you have uh, deliberated in your heart, say after me, dear Heavenly Father, I thank you tonight. I don't want to be lukewarm. I don't want to be unconcerned. But I invite you into my life. Be the Lord of my life. With my heart, I believe unto righteousness. And with my mouth, I make the confession unto salvation. You are saved. You are born again. You are a fellow citizen of the kingdom of God. Jesus loves you. Thank you. DJ KB, thank you. Up Online Radio, thank you. All the preachers on this broadcast. Thank you. God bless you. And uh, by God's grace, we will be with you next week, the same time. I love you with the love of God. Amen. Thank Amen. you very much, Reverend Vanderpoy. That is um, Reverend Vanderpoy, Jacob Vanderpoy, the Willing Says Network. It's a network of prayer warriors. And if you want um, to join the network or you have any prayer requests, you want them to help you with, please call um, the number on your screen. Reverend Jacob Van der Boy's number is 07989724108. That is 07989724108. Also, um, they have the prayer network has um, Zoom meetings on Wednesdays. I think 7 to 7.30 p.m. UK time. Is that right, sir? 7 to 7.30 p.m. Yeah, Very UK correct, time. sir. 
Um, and the Zoom meeting ID is 716 3998 5040. The meeting ID is 716 3998 And the meeting passcode is 2 capital V for Victor, capital S for Sierra. The number 8, capital P for Papa, and small a for Alpha. The passcode again is number 2, capital V for Victor, capital S for Sierra, number 8, capital P for Papa, and small a for Alpha. If you are watching on Facebook or YouTube, you can take a screenshot of the meeting passcode so you can join that meeting. Also, if you want to call Reverend Van der Poel, you can call the number on your screen and you can take a screenshot as well. Thank you very much, Reverend Van der Poel. Um, so that means we've come to the end of um, the eschatology. The seven churches. <laughs> of the seven yeah. churches, the book of Revelation. So we will have another okay. topic next week. We will talk about character, character development. development. Character Christian character okay. development, character okay. in this own. Right. Yeah. So uh, we okay. will take Thank note you very of much. that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is mine. Uh, Thank have you. a good right. night. Okay. Bye -bye. Bless you, sir. Bye bye. Uh, for that was Reverend Jacob Van der Poy of the Wailing Intercessors Network. I believe you've been blessed, to, uh, blessed with this broadcast. And you may ask him, you may they look warm church. I wish you for me, I'm here. I'm so trouble to the on pet. So, as I say, I am a yeah, you and you, you know, yeah, there be sooner there be. And to see a summy, I'm a dear, I enter near one sum. Now, I could see a man quite crisp to sum the dear. Rather, I'm saying, I'll be a bit fearing afternoon until tea for I am quite sorry, yeah, quite sorry, yeah, quite two new men saying, Are we saved? Are we saved? Eh, I me here because when you go some children say, I a brain no drawer on the last day, no, when you go past Casa will tell some Christians, get away from me, for I never knew you, you who did not do what is right. Other versions of Bible say, you who practiced lawlessness. And to Jidim Yaw Timi Shadon Sum, say, Kisusum, nya no ane se wakwa asore, akwa tu offering, akwa diya sa, ane ye huri, akwa huri aso, akwa so si, that is not Christianity. No, because real Christianity is after church. That is where your true Christianity shows up. Christianity is not what you do in the church room. No. Why? Because in the church, everybody is angel. <laughs> even though some people, even in the church, I saw them cry and all the whole kind of angel. But most people in the church room, we are all angels. Christianity, true Christianity, is what happens after church. That is where Christianity shows up. Kronoa kesie, in sikura kesie, in tra kesie, after church. That is the true Christianity, where it shows up. And ti yensha nusa buzyan fo, si ye sumi nyame dia, ye ntini yonah, ye sumi nyame. And yes, ah, Christo nan kasa na kasa, on the last day, no, obe kan chire e Christo fo binom, say, get away from me, for I do not know you, you who did not do what is right. And this, uh, we've been causing kuye wa brabu ma, Sister, such a thing. Na but Abraham Kroon 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 Kroon
Top Online Radio UK. Now or download come come on your mobile device, whether it's on your um, phone, i uh, tablet, um, um, iPad, desktop, computer, whatever. Just go there and download it so that you can listen to us twenty four seven. Yes, on the app, we are on the app twenty four seven. So even when our live, um, our streaming broadcast on Facebook and YouTube is ended. You, we continue to um, broadcast on the mobile app. So please um, make a date and try to download the app. It's free. It's free. It's free. It's free. And also, you can get the download links from our website, toponlinestation.com. Toponlinestation.com. In the middle of the page, you will see our app download links. There you can also download it onto your um, mobile device. We have an app link for um, Play Store, that is um, Android devices. And there is another link for the App Store, that is for Apple devices, iPhone and other Apple devices. We have so many programs, so, so many programs. For instance, tomorrow we have um, uh, in the evening, in the evening we have Miss Grail with DJ G Nice. Miss Grail with DJ G Nice tomorrow, 5 p.m. UK time, 5 to 7 p.m. UK time. Uh, tomorrow again, we have a man Komo, a man Komo, or he might be, or he might be, will bring you a man Komo. Uh, tomorrow from 8 to 10 p.m. UK time on this radio. Uh, tomorrow we will have, or him and you will host um, Kathy Archer. Kathy Archer. Uh, Kathy Archer, uh, inspirational um, relationship speaker. Uh, and he don't, you don't want to miss that show. Um, Wednesday we have legal matters. Ah, lawyers. Wise man solicitors or more at the Emran Semba by Church Day Moon Visa Sem Grata Sem. And please don't miss that as well. Stay tuned to Top Online Radio UK um, for uh, our weekly and daily programs. Um, before I take leave of you, we take a few messages from our sponsors. Don't go away. Tune in to Top Online Radio UK. We bring you news, views, interviews, and what have you. Download our free mobile radio app from the App Store and the Play Store. Just search for Top Online Radio UK. We stream live on Facebook and YouTube. For all inquiries, advertisements or to work with us contact us on 0044-7902-944-398 Top Online Radio UK the top Ghanaian station in the UK Listen to DJ G Nice on Top Online Radio UK. This and every Tuesday evening, 5 to 7 p.m. UK time. As he brings you mix trail. What's in the mix? It's really anything goes. Social issues. Cultural issues. Diaspora issues. Ghanaian issues. It really cuts across all the
is going to do my account and tax returns for me, cra. Certified accountants. Certified accountants. Certified accountants. Certified accountants. They will help you with your account and tax returns. Are you a minicab driver, hairdresser, shop owner, or self-employed? Certified accountant. And it was all true with Chapman. And then we will say, when you will be a what bring your accounts and tax returns more. Now, banks are so more. Now, more you actually. It's in a make careful. Certified accountant. And the amount of accounts and tax returns. Company accounts. Bookkeeping. Payroll services. Charity accounts. And gift aid claim. As of all, not to a deal. Open engineer. Certified accountant. Safer task planning. Business advice. Company registration. And many more. And if you should watch it, company or two of us are now on the hotel bedroom. No, this is a good one. Certified accountant. Say say about us from the dia. What to do? Construction workers, agency workers, relief security workers, bank nursing staff. Any more we are juma our temporary workplaces in Nigeria. Mum friend, no one is going to do mum. We are the army. We are going to say HMRC four. I think I have the work. What we move out? It came. I just have to out. What is Address three three five to three five one Raynham Road South, Dagnam R M ten eight Q R. Telephone zero two zero eight two two six. Four nine three three. Mobile zero seven nine five six eight zero four five one seven. Ah, certified accountant. Me humba me huwa chami. Mudi mpunti yo abame duma yume. Akwanti yo munsi. Akwanti yo munsi. Akwanti yo munsi. This is every Thursday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Join Mami Plamai. Plamai PSA. Top Online Radio UK. Plenty of Monsen. Join Mami Plamai. Plamai PSA. This is every Thursday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Only on Top Online Radio UK. Don't miss this show. Make a date with Mame Plamai. This and every Thursday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time on Pentium Munsem. Pentium Munsem. Pentium Munsem. Only on Top Online Radio UK. Show what Top Online Radio UK. We will be streaming live on Facebook and YouTube. You can also listen to us on our website, toponlinestation.com. Tune in live on our free mobile radio app. Download the radio app from the App Store and the Play Store. Or go to toponlinestation.com. Akwantio Munsem. Akwantio Munsem. Akwantio Munsem. Akwantio Munsem. Akwantio Munsem. And so on. Come on, Ghana for listen to Ohima B this and every Tuesday evening, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. UK time for our evening talk show. The man come on, join the conversation, family issues, social issues, our Munsem, child upbringing, about our Munsem, a man to tea Munsem, a few shams, a member of the Don't miss this show this and every Tuesday evening, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. Listen to a man come on top online radio. Radio UK. You can watch the program live on Facebook at Top Online Radio UK. You can tune in to us by visiting our website www.toponlinestation.com or you can download our radio app directly from the Play Store or the App Store. You can also tune in to us on Modern Ghana Radio, Ghana Web Radio page, mytuna.com and all third party radio platforms. Join the conversation. What Jin Chen is saying, don't miss this show. This and every Tuesday, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. Only on Top Online Radio UK. You don't want to miss this. <laughs> Our very lives consist of moments 
occasions, events, and experiences. But some of these moments turn out to be so special that you never want to forget them. Unfortunately, to forget is human, and time relegates all those special moments to antiquity. And that is when photography comes in to bring to the present memories of those special moments, occasions, and events which you cherish so, so much. You don't just want photography, you want professional photography. Speak to the experts at Dance Studios UK. A firm of professional photographers providing on equal photography services to all areas in the UK. Let us take care of the photographs of those special occasions that mean so much to you. Is it a wedding, a christening, an engagement, a marriage ceremony, a birthday party, or is it a funeral celebration, a business event, a religious event, a political event, or other social events? A Dam Studios UK is your ultimate choice. Get in touch now for a professional photography service with a touch of spice. A Dam Studios UK, incredible photographs that return those memories from antiquity to the present. A Bushan Four, so occasion in your part, yeah. A man quenching for be a messy picture cinema woo. Obit me can I'm sorry, or pictures in your ass say. Contact at Dam Studios UK on 078-52-311-049. That's 078-52-311-049. At Dam Studios UK for incredibly fabulous photographs. At Dam Studios UK. Naturally flawless. At Dan Studios UK. Incredible photographs with a touch of spice. spice, spice. This is Top Online Radio UK, the top Ghanaian radio station in the UK. Hailing from the eastern corridors of London, we bring you news, views, music, interviews, trending issues, and what have you. Tune in to us 24-7 on our free mobile radio app. Download our free app from the Play Store and the App Store. Just search for Top Online Radio UK. Download the free mobile app and tune in to us 24-7. We stream our programs live on Facebook and YouTube. Just find us on YouTube and Facebook by searching for Top Online Radio UK. We welcome your views, comments, critiques, suggestions, etc. Just get in touch on our station line 079-029-44398. That's 79 Zero two nine four four three nine eight. If you are interested in working with us as a radio presenter, a radio host, or a radio panelist, do get in touch and let's talk. Call us on zero seven nine zero two nine four four three nine eight. If you want to advertise on our radio, just get in touch and let's talk. 079-029-44398 If you want to sponsor any of our programs, get in touch and let's talk. Top Online Radio UK, the top Ghanaian radio station in the UK.